What's up with you? Thank you for tuning into this video, which is going to rock your socks off. How to find and spy on your competition to see what's working for them on Instagram. I know that this is something huge, 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 huge. I looked around for it for a couple of days because I was like, honestly, I can't believe that there's not a platform that tells us what was this person's best performing post? What are they getting the most likes on? What are they getting the most comments on? Because obviously it's good to know what's working for other people in our industry. What, what words have been working for them? What types of movements have been working for them. It's the same thing for your brand and your business, okay? It's nice to know what other businesses are doing. For example, if your donut shop is putting up a big thing that moves, you know those, you know those blow up men that move, <laughs> like that big balloon that moves? If it's working so much for them, if they're boosting up their sales because all the cars that are driving by are stopping because of that blow up machine, well, it would also work for your bakery, right? It's the same thing on Instagram and that's exactly what I wanna jump into. With this tool, you're going to find out exactly what you wanna know about those that you call your competitors, okay? So stick around to the end because this is going to be crazy. And the best part is I had this tool in my toolbox. This is one of the things that I always recommend to you guys. And I don't know, I just wasn't using it. I didn't know I had it, which is probably going to happen to you too. So let's jump in. As you guys know, this is your go-to channel for anything in regards to social media or digital marketing for your online business. So today I'm telling you how we can find out what's going on on our competitors' Instagram, spy on their posts, spy on what's working for them, what's not working so we can avoid it, and just get more inspiration for our day to day, okay? So it's all on the computer, so let's jump in. All right, all right. So, welcome to Sked Social. Hello, yeah, that same Sked Social that I recommend for you to post, to schedule your first comment, to schedule your hashtags, to schedule your stories. It's that same one. It has the tool and I wasn't even aware of it. And I love Sked Social. That's how great this platform is. So. Let me show you what we're on right now. These are the insights, okay? So insights is a feature of Sked Social. And we have our overview, which is basically a little more detail of what regular Instagram gives you, like your interactions, your engagement, your comments, how many people you're reaching, all that good stuff. But here on the last tab, we have competitors, okay? So I have here, um, one, two, three, four. So this is a, your group of five top marketing specialists. Laura, Angie, Sean, Seth Godin, and the Instagram expert. <laughs> These aren't really my competitors, guys. I just found people that are super, super well-known in the marketing and Instagram industry. So I'm using them as an example, okay? You might already know them and let me know who your favorite is down below, but I bet it's that girl that's called the Laura Gomez, right? <laughs> I'm joking. These guys have been in the industry years and I love all of them right here. There's so much to learn from all of them. A huge, huge inspiration, hands down. So let's scroll down. We obviously see the number of followers that they have, how followers have changed. I added these recently, so we can't see that yet. But obviously, if we leave it with more time, we can change the date up here and see the actual change that they've had compared to what you've had, okay? Then we scroll down and we see, okay, we, ooh, too much, okay, we see the percent of the follower change, total media posted, so in between this date range, Angie right here would be leading it with 35 total things posted on Instagram, images posted, ding, 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 I'm the winner. <laughs> Videos posted back to Angie, carousels posted, the Instagram expert. 
and then we have here the posting habits. So you can start to see how often do they post? When do they normally post? What style of content do they normally post? And this is absolutely, absolutely useful for any business, okay? Then we have the average engagement rate, okay? This is basically a number that you should know what your number is, okay? Because most of the times we only care about follower count when right here, if you're following me along my YouTube journey, you know that follower count is not what we care about. We care about other metrics like saves, shares, and engagement rate. Why would you care to have millions and millions and millions of followers if they're not even engaging with your content or they're not even really liking, they don't even know who you are, they don't even have a two-way conversation with you. I think I noticed that and that's why in specific this week, I created my close friends list on Instagram. So if you guys have seen on Instagram on your stories, you have that little green button. Well, I asked anybody and if you're watching this, you can also be added to this list. Who wants to be on my close friends list? Who wants a little more of a personal interaction with me on Instagram? And a bunch of people said that they did. They wanted to know a little more about what my day-to-day -day life was like, what tips I could give them in specific to their business, okay? Because most of the time, we're getting used to Instagram being just a one-way conversation. So we're just following Seth Godin, Sean, Angie. We're following them. They're not, it's not a back and forth conversation. And I think that's something that I really, really strive to have with all of my followers. So if you're interested in joining this close friends list, which I share, tons of tips not only on my instagram which you can always just follow me at the laura gomez but if you want to be part of this close friends list just send me a dm saying close friends and i'll add you right to that list okay so engagement rate super super important you can find out your own engagement rate for free by going to socialblade.com okay then we have the average number of comments per post average likes which is super super interesting and then the follower growth, okay? So this is amazing because we can see when they're peaking, okay? Obviously, like an athlete, after a lot of practice, you kind of peak at one point, okay? So after maybe three months of practicing your soccer, there becomes a point where you just dominate that ball like no other player, right? Then maybe after six months, there becomes a point where your free kicks are on point, like they're absolutely, absolutely on point to that goal or whatever it may be, okay? So same thing with your Instagram and your digital content. There comes a point where you're posting so much good information that you just peak. Same thing with YouTube. If you're learning to grow on YouTube, there comes a point where you're putting so many good videos out that you're peaking, okay? Those subscribers are coming in on automatic, okay? So. Just super nice to look at this, know exactly what's working for them, how many posts they're posting per day. Like for example, here we see that somebody posted three posts per day. So if a big person that's having a lot, a lot of traction, a lot of success in your industry is posting three times a day, why can't you? Or why would you think that three posts per day is too much? or one post per day is going to saturate your audience. That's not true. And this is proof to see that you have to test everything, okay? If you're providing good value, if you're providing good content, which of course, these videos up here are going to help you out, you should definitely click on them to learn more. If you're providing that good, good, good value on Instagram, then your audience is going to want more and more from you. If you feel like you're saturating your audience, that might be an indicator that you know you're not giving enough value, okay? So I know that this is a big, big, big things for anybody on Instagram and I have a special gift just for you, okay? I wanna make sure that your Instagram journey is actually the path that you want to take, okay? That you're actually driving the path with a goal in mind. So go ahead down to the description. I have a little gift for you, okay? All you have to do is just click that link. It's a free gift from me to you. So I know you're gonna love it. Just click and enjoy it, all right? So basically, this is an amazing thing to have. We can see here, this is my favorite part, this information right here. Top five latest posts across accounts. So we can see 
what were the top five greatest posts from all of your competitors. So you don't have to go one by one and see how many likes, how many comments they had. You automatically have what worked, what didn't work, okay? So obviously from here, we can see that text is working, that close-up photos are working, real photos with real stories are working, okay? That's exactly what people are looking for. They're looking for that human connection on social media. Same thing here, look at these photos. Top photos are very, very personal and these are the top five posts by engagement, okay? That's super, super important that you need to learn whenever you're thinking, hey, is it too much if I post maybe a personal picture, maybe a family picture on my business account? Well, look, you can automatically see what's performing, what's having the best engagement out of all the content that these people are posting, okay? Same thing, top five posts, posts by likes across the account. And we can see that many of the photos are the same thing. Personal family photos that actually make us relate to these other humans. Top five photos by comments. So that's amazing also to look at. Basically, this is just a lot of information to dive in so that you can do competitor analysis on social media. Okay, this is key for anything. This is key for when you're starting a business, when you're on your journey in your business, when you want to scale your business, when you're feeling stuck and looking to grow on your business, this is exactly what you wanna look at. You always wanna have people to look at for inspiration, for guidance, for ideas, okay? It's not copying, that's not what I mean. I don't mean go ahead and grab the same photo, copy their exact caption, no. Look at what's working for them, make it relatable to your audience, make it relatable to your life, and just get inspired by what's working for other people. So obviously, I know that a lot of you have been getting very, very inspired by all these videos on YouTube about Instagram, about YouTube growth, about how to actually scale your online business when you're feeling stuck. So if you want more and more ideas, make sure to hit that subscribe button because all these videos that I'm making are just for you. They're for you to actually get ideas, to learn, to grow, and to get the business that you dream of, all right? So take a look at this tool. Like I mentioned before, Sketch Social. You can find the link down in the description. And also make sure to check out the gift that I made just for you. Scroll down, it's all at the bottom, and don't miss out. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.